Yo, what is going on guys? This is Ken Arley, and today I'm bringing you a video talking about Beast Week and the gas chamber at Basic Military Training or BMT. So, starting off in the fourth week of training is when you learn about FEST, which is Field Expeditionary, Expeditionary Skills Training, which is like how to hit people with your gun the right ways, um, burst aid. Um, you learn this type of method of securing like entrance and exit points um, in certain like, you know, like for example, let's say you had like a section off area and you controlled the exit and the entry and like, you know, scanning the area for enemies and all sorts of stuff like that. So during that week, you have tons of classes related to those things. And you also go to the gas chamber at some point in that week. Um, it can happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It can happen any of those days. Or I mean, it might be more limited, but any, it's random for every flight um, because they all get um, scheduled different times. So. Basically, you go one of those days, you go to like this hangar type building at the Old Beast, which was Warrior Week, that's where they used to do that, um, where they have the old obstacle course and stuff like that. You go to this hangar, there's like tons of seats everywhere on the stage. Um, they basically line you guys up, they give you, you go through a line, you get your um, mop gear, your gas mask, your gas mask, um, filters, your gas mask side carrier, you get those like big rubber boots that go over your real boots, you get tons of stuff, right? Gloves and you go sit down they teach you how to put it all on what it all means the different mop levels the different types of like attacks all sorts of stuff this stuff is really important i actually it was one of my favorite parts of bmt because they teach you a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't know it's it's seaburn so it's chemical biological radioactive and nuclear i believe and uh, those are all sorts of different types of attacks and um methods of lethal just attacks right and uh, they teach you why we use some things, why we're not allowed to use some things. Um, they show you like pictures of like what these types of things actually do to people, like you know, radioactive attacks and nuclear attacks. Like it's pretty nasty. So uh, you do get to see some stuff. Also, fourth this the fourth week um, on the gas chamber day, Seaburn. That's what they call. It. They call it Seaburn. So it's kind of weird because like we, outside of BMT, we refer to it as gas. Like you know, when you go to the gas chamber, but in BMT, it's known as Seaburn. So. Um, that day is the first day you get to eat your first MRE, um, which is super fun. Um, basically for lunch you get an MRE, you go out to like this outside area, or I guess if it's cold outside, or it just depends what time of year you go, but you eat like your MRE, no you do it outside for sure because of the, uh, the way that you heat up the MREs, so. Anyways, once you're done with all that sort of stuff and you learn about it and they feel comfortable with letting you go up to the gas chamber, you hike up to the gas chamber, it's not really a hike, but it's kind of a walk. Um, in your gear and stuff and basically you get in lines right individual like single file lines and they take you into little rooms right and there's glass in the room so you can see the room next door there's like a little fire pit looking thing in the middle of the room and you guys line around the outside right so let's pretend the door the exit is here right this is the door you come in this is the door you exit in so you come in you line around the room and basically there's like they're not ti's um but they are people in the air force and they work for seaburn i guess and they have like these little smoke pill things they're it's really weird how they do it i'm not sure exactly how they do it but it's like basically tear gas and they put it in the smoke pit they light they ignite it well first they have you do like um jumping jacks and they have you you know just do a bunch of stupid stuff to like get you kind of you know tired and like breathing heavy i guess and uh i, I guess they told us that it opens up your pores a little bit so that when you are hit with the gas it hits you harder than it normally would and uh it, it definitely did work for, for most people i got lucky because here's the exit door right i was like you line up and then the last the first two people are right here next to the exit door um, so I was, I was one of those people. Um, so it didn't really hit me too hard, but I definitely felt it. Um, so they, they make you do jumping jacks or they light the smoke, then make you do the jumping jacks. It doesn't really matter what order they do it. And then basically they teach you like how you take off your gas mask. There's three different steps and they'll, they'll go over that and you like grab your mask, gas mask, lift it up, put it to your chest. And then when you're walking out, you have to have your arms out. So you have your gas mask in one hand and then your hands out so that you don't like grab your face. And... So they have you loosen your gas mask, you take it off, and you can't leave the room until everybody has the gas mask on their chest. That's the problem. So a lot of people are like, Ooh, and they're like holding their gas mask, but you can't leave until it's on your chest. So don't be that guy that's over here waving it around like, oh, I'm dying, help. You know, don't be that guy. It's not that bad. You're not going to die. Um, and then you all exit, you know, so like, I'll go, they'll go, I'll go, they'll go, you know, and stuff like that. Um, anyways, 
After that, you walk to this pad, circle around it twice, and then the effects are worn off, and then you clean your gas mask. But you'll see. You'll see all that when you get there. The main part is that's the day you go to the gas chamber. So the next week, you go to Beast. So fourth week is prep, pre preparation for Beast. Beast is actually fifth week of training. Preparation for Beast is the fourth week of training. You also learn other stuff in the fourth week, but majority of the time you're preparing for Beast. Um, so when you go to Beast, you get on a bus, you have a whole duffel bag packed up a certain way. There's a whole paper on how to do it. You need like seven, eight Ziplocs, and you fold your stuff like certain ways to get it to fit into your, your military green duffel bag. The duffel bags are super heavy, so you have your freaking duffel bag, you have your fake M16, you have tons of stuff that's super heavy, and then you're all on a bus together with your whole flight riding there. And you get off the bus, you go to like this huge gravel area, this like overhang, where they pick your zone, so like, okay, this is when you're in Reaper zone, this is when you're in Phantom zone, this is when you're in Vigilance, or I forgot what the other one's called. Uh, whatever. I was in Reaper. Um, I was 10th 3 Reaper. Um, I slept nor near I slept near the end, so if you're ever there, like, oh, that's where I was. Um, basically, you get split into zones, then you get split into your tents. Um, you might get with your friends, you might not. It's not really a big deal, I'll just deal with it. It's not a big deal at all. Um, also, before you get to Beast is when you're assigned a job for Beast. So, like, I was an MRE monitor, so basically the meal's ready to eat. I would put them in the buckets that you grab them out of. And that's basically what my job was. After that, you walk to your zone, which is like a treacherous walk with these heavy ass double bags on your back, man. I had like these like red streaks right here. I was streaking because of how heavy it was on me. Oh. I'm not very strong like that, like so. A lot of people are like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, this is heavy. Um, but anyways, you walk to your zones, they show you all the gear, you get your gas mask and stuff like that. It's the same sort of thing. You eat two MREs a day and a hot meal at night. So for breakfast and lunch, you have an MRE. Night is a hot meal, which is not pickable. It's not like regular BMT. Like they literally, there's a line. You go through it BMT style, you know, sidestepping at attention. They scoop stuff on your plate. The cool part is they give you grandma cookies and sometimes they have like pecan pie or apple pie. And that was awesome. That was like the highlight of BMT. Those are the best desserts, so. You get that stuff, you get Gatorade, go sit down, eat, um, and then you get out of there. So that's basically it. But a lot of beast, a lot of beast, okay, is this is, it's really simple. It's not like there's a ton of stuff that you do. Let me go over the, the, the little things that you do, and then I'll go over the bigger picture, okay? So basically, when you're there, you watch tons of seer videos. I'm not sure what, I don't remember what, survival, something. It has to do with survival, like if you get um, abandoned or you get captured or something like that. Seer training is like survival, um, and they you watch these super long videos about Seer, and there's this guy who likes to talk with his hands, and he does this a lot, so like there's this running inside joke for people at BMT, and I have to get out of BMT, of like the Seer hands and stuff like that, so you watch a lot of that. You still get mail at Beast, but you can't send mail, so that's important. Make sure your spouses or your friends and family or whoever you're mailing knows that. Um, because, I mean, obviously they're not really going to care because they know you're a BMT, but it's a lot better to, like, tell the person, like, hey, I'm not going to be able to write you this week, so I'm not dead. Um, you also shoot your M16 at Beast. Um, there's a whole day, like, dedicated to certain things, and every zone does it differently so that you're not all doing the same stuff at the same time, but one day you'll do the obstacle course, which is okay. I'll, go, I'll get into that in a second. The next day you go shooting your M16, you go learn you know, how to take a real M16 apart, how to clean a real M16, put it back together, go shoot it, and a bunch of stuff like that. You actually clean it after you shoot it. Then you, um, there's like a day where you actually have your examination. So there's a beast examination. You can earn beast excellence. Now I don't remember what the rewards are, but like you get, oh, you get an extra Sunday town pass um, if you get beast excellence. There's like academic excellence, beast excellence, and there was something else too, PT Excellence, I believe. I don't know if they're actually called that, but that's basically what they are. And you, you can get like a Sunday Town Pass in either one of those ways, so. Um, so there's tons of stuff like that, right? But the main thing about Beast is you're basically putting what you learned the fourth week of training with Fest, how to examine your zones. Um, you learn about like IEDs, what IEDs look like. You learn about how to like section them off, or it, at least there's like jobs there. And if you are part of the, um, there's a certain team that goes around, puts cones around like explosives that the MTIs will throw around and uh, you have to avoid them and they teach you all about that stuff. So basically at Beast, in the morning you wake up, you go outside and you line up around this huge like control tower. 
and this MTI is gonna tell you like, this is what we're doing today, basically, blah, 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 blah. Now, go to your stations. So every tent has their own, like, um, there's tons of exits and entry points around the zone, right? They're not real extra because then exit and entry points are not allowed to leave out of them. Because there's one main gate and um, then there's tons of little stations around, right? So at the stations, you have your two, two people in your tent. You have two people in your tent that lead your tent. They're like in charge of you, okay? So basically, they pretend to be hostile. They go on the other side of the gate and they walk around and they, you know, walk up to you. And it's your job to go through the procedures correctly, like, halt, oh, put your hands in the air, spread your fingers, spread your feet, you know. Turn, 100, turn 180 degrees from the sound of my voice. Get down on your knees slowly. Get down on your stomach. Spread your arms. Do it like a T. And you do a bunch of stuff like that, right? Now, if, like, there's certain procedures. So if they're, if you're detaining them and they're going with it, that's what you do. But if they run at you, then you, you know, you know, you say halt 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 and then you hit them with your gun if you like if they're if they have a gun then you you go what is it fire trigger safe because like that's the, the stuff you go through when you're shooting you put the gun on fire mode shoot it put it back on safe so there's certain things that you go through and that's like really important they really try to nail that in um, because it's really important and they go through it tons tons and tons and that's what your actual evaluation is for they'll pick you at random and say look do this and you have to do it exactly right They'll teach, they also, you go over first aid too, so you also should pay attention in that class too. There's certain procedures that you have to go through for this and that and this and that, and it's, that's really all that it's about. Um, now, once you're going through, like, okay, you know, you're going through, like, the actual, you know, scanning and stuff like that, they'll call over the loudspeaker, like, um, alarm green, mop, uh, mop level one. I mean, that's not really one that they call, but they'll be like, alarm, or what is it? Alarm yellow, mob level two, or something like that. Something like that, it's something like that. And basically, there's like a hardened shelter there too, right? It's a big like underground bunker. And once they call like mop red, or mop yellow, seek hardened shelter, or something like that. You go down to this little thing, you put your gas mask on, right? Super tight, you put your hood up, like there's a whole mop, whole thing with mop gear that you'll learn about. But you do all this stuff, right? You're laying in your stomach, it's super hot outside. Like that is probably the worst part of Beast, um, which isn't really a big deal. Um, it's just how hot it is and having the gas mask on and stuff like that. But it's really important to know these things because if this actually does happen one day and you have nine seconds to live or die to put your gas mask on, it's really important that you need to know this information. Um, and they really try to nail it in there too, so. Beast is also probably the funnest time at BMT, and it's also one of the hardest times at BMT. Um, and, you know, you just have to make the best out of it. You sleep on a cot, so there's no pillow or anything. You sleep in a sleeping bag, and um, the tents are cool. I made a lot of friends at Beast, who I'm actually friends with now, we're at the same uh, duty station, so that's pretty cool. But there's just tons of stuff um, that you learn, and oh yeah, the obstacle course. Let me go over that really quick, because everything else is pretty, like that's pr pretty much it. You go through the procedures every day, you um, get in the mop gear, and then once you're done, you have like details, and then you eat, and then you go to bed. So that's pretty much it. Um, besides the little things like shooting your gun, um, watching the sear videos sometimes, showering. Showering is a pretty big deal at Beast. I'll let you experience that for yourself. Um, yeah, <laughs> you shower outside of the zone. There's a whole building for showers and bathrooms, right? So that's just that's it. That's something on its own. But the obstacle course is called the claw, right? Now there's sections all over the beast area, right? Because beast is huge. There's four zones and there's like a whole road that goes around it and tons of greenery and trees and stuff. There's certain zones. So you have the claw, which is like the actual obstacle course. There's like a couple things you jump over. You bear crawl or, you know, there's sand pits, tons of stuff, right? It's not as extreme as it used to be as in Warrior Week, I think. Um, they really dumbed it down because a lot of people were getting hurt, but um, it's still pretty fun. There's like this rope that you have to climb across and you usually you flip over and lose your balance and you have to keep climbing across it or cl climbing across it words are hard and there's just tons of stuff like that um there's like you know you walk on little little pieces of wood and um the obstacle course is it's not what it is like if you look up bmt obstacle course i don't think there's any videos about beast obstacle course but the old school one you'll see people like you know jogging in place and stuff around the whole thing it's not like that anymore at all so but you go through, and then on that day also you walk through an IED trail, um, which is 
really cool actually. It's like down this little path and there's like tons of trees and stuff everywhere, right? Like it's really um, nature-y, I guess. And you literally will just hear like a and you're like, what was that? And then the TI's gonna be like, you just killed everybody. You just stepped on an IED and then they'll actually show you like, look, there's an IED, that's how you spot them out and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's basically Beast for you in a nutshell. It's a really fun time of BMT. You're away from your MTI, which is awesome. And you get to just go out and learn a lot of cool stuff and shoot real guns. So that's pretty fun too. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it um, pretty quick because there's a lot of information to cover at Beast. Um, but if you have any questions about Beast that's more specific than what I went over, uh, feel free to ask them down below because I, I, I know that I can't cover everything in one you know video without making it like an hour long. So. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, peace out.